Hello there, Gunny124 here. Today I'm going to be playtesting a game called Paperhead. This is a really cool first person shooter. I've already played for all the demo and it's really cool. Um, unlike other first person shooters, this game has a really nice aesthetic where everything's made out of arts and crafts, which I think is really cool. Like all the enemies are basically like little like paper cutouts. And the pencil here, as you see in the middle of the actual screen, this is actually a weapon you use. And what you can do with this weapon is you can basically, you can create ways to hurt your enemies. Like you can draw bombs and then you can kick them bombs into your enemies. I also really like in this game that you have like the ability to defend yourself without weapons. Like you can just kick enemies about and just like go and just charge straight into them. It's really cool. So yeah, we're gonna be playing throughout this game. I'm going to show some bugs and also talk about things I do and not like about the game. But yes, I really enjoy playing this, so let's have a go again. Okay then. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. And as you, as you can see, like I mentioned in this game, you can see parts of the map are actually made out of cardboard. That is really cool. Like, it reminds me a lot of a, although completely different genre, of Little Big Planet, which was a game where everything was made out of, like, materials like fabric. And it was really cool. But yeah, like a lot of uh, first-person shooters, this game also has, like, we will see over here. Is it through here? Secrets. I really like. I like it when you uh, basically incentivize the player to explore the environment and you get more of these coins by doing so. Increase your score. I also like how the coins are literally paper clips as well. <laughs> yeah, they've definitely gone uh, to town on this uh, aesthetic. Like, a lot of the uh, shooter games tend to either go the... Um, either the exaggerated realistic um, way like Doom does or they go low poly uh, for example Dusk or that other game I played the other day The Rose this game's aesthetic I just really love it I just love how everything looks like it's literally made of paper and cardboard and all sorts of arts and crafts materials but yeah also in the game there's also these notes that you can read that kind of give you an idea of like what's happening here and stuff and from what I can tell, it's supposed to be like a facility where there's all these monsters in it. And we actually get to a point where... Oh, we already completed the level. We go to the area where there's like vats of them. and It seems like they're, they're experiments and they've broken out. And that there's this like um, demonic kind of thing. It definitely goes with like the same kind of um, ideas of like... Doom and Quake and the kind of demonic aspects of it. But there's actually a, a glitch here. I might just demonstrate the glitch before we actually um, do this level. And it's a glitch that can um, force you to basically have to restart the level. But you can even see like how the monitors and stuff are made out of cardboard. I just love that look. It's literally like Little Big Planet, but it's like... You're just like ripping and tearing everything, you know what I mean? Sackboy's had enough. But yeah. Okay, first glitch. What we're supposed to do here is activate this uh, thing here by putting this battery into the machine. But what you can do is this battery for some reason can go in through walls. Um, let's actually demonstrate it over here, actually, so we can get it uh, outside the map, so we can't pick it up here. So we're going to bring this battery over here, and we're just going to keep kicking it into the wall until it goes through. Which will happen. Doing this until it works, because sometimes I kicked it straight for that wall over there, and it just would, you know, go straight through the wall. Yeah, uh, I'll talk about things what I like about this game while I do this. But yeah, in the game you do get 
Like you kind of regular weapon like a shotgun. But what I really like about the shotgun in this game is it has limited ammo, which kind of incentivizes the player to not utilize it all the time and use other weapons and other means of fighting enemies. And I also uh, really love the way the player can move around and how you can like kick stuff and you can like slide like this. Reminds me a lot of Quake, just kind of like, feels like I'm kind of bunny hopping. <laughs> I really like that. I also love how you can actually damage enemies by like Goomba stomping them. I always thought that was pretty funny as well. We're going to try and get this battery for this wall. Let's take its time. Ooh, I'm, <laughs> I'm rolling on it. Come on. Will happen? Please happen. There we go. <laughs> you just see how it just violently just went out of it. Yeah, it went straight through the wall. Okay, we don't have a battery anymore. And if you're wondering, does it respawn? It does not. So, we have lost the battery and have to restart the level. Oh, what? Oh, okay, the game lagged a bit. Yeah, that's one thing this game sometimes does. Sometimes it just lags. Yeah, we're restarting this level. But yes, that is a, a first bug. I have demonstrated. But yeah, let's actually do what we're meant to do. Put a battery in its slot. I also love the sound effects in this game. The music's great. The music honestly does have a very quake sound to it. And also, I love how the sound of the cardboard doors is cardboard rather than like an actual door, like an actual blast door. I think that's so hilarious. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Also appreciate the game having tips and stuff to help me along my way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can do this one, then. There we go. You can see how the enemies are literal... Uh, <laughs> they're like cardboard cutouts. I always find that they're kind of funny. They're not just like billboarded sprites. They're literally 3D models. <laughs> I love that. We're also speaking about um, the game giving you tips and telling you where you need to go. There's like green lights and everything where like you need to open doors and stuff. So the, the game does a very good, uh, I, uh, a very good job of showing you where you need to go. <laughs> that door again. I love the cardboard sounding doors. Hey guys. There we go. But yeah, you can just fight them without having to have a weapon, which is really cool. Yeah, we need to go here. There we go. Let's get some of these. Let me go up there. Oh, there's a health up here. The health is actually, um, I think the health is actually a bit of duct tape. <laughs> I just love the way it all is. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. There we go. But yeah, the one thing I've noticed about these like fences here, these like walls, is for some reason, um, I can like go through here. I don't know if that's intentional and what. That seems kind of weird. You're not really meant to go through this. But apparently on the other side, you can push your way through it. So I was kind of wondering if I could kind of skip all the other stuff and kind of push myself through here. <laughs> but I just keep spamming it. Because <laughs> I, I have noticed sometimes when you jump like that, it flings you forward, even if you're like looking downward. I was kind of messing with that, trying to get up, like, the very first level. There's, like, a giant pit that you fall down into that area where you start, and I'm trying to jump up of it. 
happy. Let's uh, go back here again. I just love the movement in this game. Very nice. Go. The secret. Nice. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this before, but before we start the game, it did say it has an uh, epilepsy warning. So if anyone doesn't like flashing stuff, because there will be flashing stuff, uh, I don't want you guys to be like break dancing on the floor when you see it. <laughs> okay, here's another area. Oh, I bet you could lose the battery here as well, actually. I guess. There we go. Okay, that's on. But yeah. For the future, I do hope this game has more uh, difficulty options. I think that'd be good. Because the, I've played for it like once and I didn't die at all. The only times I've really died is usually after I've beat it once and just been messing about trying to break the game. <laughs> This is what I mean by epilepsy stuff. You're going to start seeing flashing stuff. Oh, hey. I'm just going to wait until he gets over here first because I'm going to demonstrate this. Yes, you can kick the explosive barrels into them. <laughs> Trying to get that barrel. Oh! <laughs> I flung it, what? I love the sound effects! <laughs> it definitely makes me think, yeah, this is like... If Doom was followed by a child, basically. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. I have, I've already played it once, but I'm enjoying it again. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Yeah, I do wish it was a harder difficulty in this game. Ooh. Ooh. But over yeah, other improvements is yeah, I do get quite a bit of lag sometimes as well. Like sometimes I'm just like playing it. There'd be like lag, and then just my camera would move to like to a different direction. It kind of be disorientating a bit. But overall, the game's got a lot going for it already. I'd say. Guys, how's it going? Aha! There we go. Oh, got that one. Yo. Oh, I didn't get it. There we go, I, want, I wanted that. I just love the movement, it definitely feels very quakey. With how fast you're going and stuff, it's really fun. But yeah, I just saw this on itch.io because I'm going to start doing a lot more demos from itch.io because this game has caught my eye and I love first person shooter games but I also really love games that have really cool movement like this as well I just love the aesthetic of it I wish more games did an arts and crafts kind of look to it It just, I just love the idea of something realistic but it's like you know how everything's made of like a realistic material but it's you know kind of 
I just like that way it just looks, really. Um, it's the same thing with Lubby Plant, like I mentioned. Everything's made out of fabric. I just love that. I think Tearaway did uh, a similar kind of thing where it was... Um, everything was made out of... Was it paper? I think paper, Tearaway. Everything was like folded and stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, will that activate it as well? Okay. I just kicked it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I love the way the environment works as well in this game. I love how the use of um, explosive barrels and stuff. There's just so much you can do to fight the enemies in it. <laughs> Here we go. There's a health down there. Yes. Is this the map where we get the pencil weapon? Yes, it is. Very, very cool. Press the button. There we go. Here we go. This is the pencil. I love that the game decided to do this. I love... Oh. Yeah, that's that guy that shows up, the stick figure guy. I think he's like a demon or something. But yeah, I love how um, we like have these arts and crafts like environment and it's like we have a pencil. It's kind of like what you expect from like a really... Um, like a really creative, like almost educational kind of game for kids, but it's like... We're just going through, like, the Doom Slayer or something. <laughs> and the pencil is like a weapon. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Use this bomb. You can kick it into things like so. And you can open up areas. Oh. <laughs> what? What is it? Is it hitting the side of this? I think it is. Let's do that again. Yeah, it is. I need to position it here. There we go. <laughs> that was a bit weird. Oh, there's some guys in here. Oh, it's a secret. I can hear them. Hey, guys. I wish they had even more, like, stationary weapons, because I think it's really cool. Like, maybe they could add, like, um, like a staple remover as, like, a powerful melee weapon. Like, you know, like a chainsaw, but it's a staple remover. Or maybe, like, fun pack, like, throwing knives. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. <laughs> I think it's a bit weird. It's, it's supposed to be a pencil, but it says ink. Kind of weird. It'll be a uh, lead, wouldn't it? Even more cool stuff for pencil is you do get multiple abilities for it, which is pretty cool. Um, currently, it's the bomb one. You do get an ability that. Oh no, even more than that. You do get an ability that lets you like manipulate the environment, so you can like draw like doors in specific areas to get through the map. It's cool. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I love how chaotic it is, it's great. All the blood everywhere as well, that's nice. 
It's dripping, that's cool. There's definitely a lot of attention to detail with this, even if it's like we're talking about materials. Oh! Or we're talking about like blood effects and stuff. There we go. There we go, we've completed that level. Here we go, this is the shotgun level now. Very, very cool. I just wanted to see, uh, can't you jump off the bombs? Oh, they do give you knockback. Okay, that's cool. I guess you could kind of use it to propel yourself if you wanted to, maybe? Oh, I missed that one. There we go. Here we go, we stop fighting these guys now. Yeah, they have guns, so you have to kind of dodge them a bit, but they're not too accurate, though. Ooh. Got him. <laughs> Is he dead? Yep. You can also actually activate the button through here if you wanted to. Oh yeah, that's also another thing. Um, the pencil clips through walls. <laughs> if you go nice and stuff. There are also areas of the map where if you were to like I sometimes in events it happens where you go into the you can kind of look through the wall if you like mess about in that event. And there's also areas where oh, I'll show you in a bit actually. There's an area where I can kind of push myself into the wall and look through it. There are stuff like that. I just love the shotgun in this game. I love how it's uh, it's also like a kind of a cardboard cutout, but I just love that it's so punchy. It is. It is <laughs> I love how they got all that the, the FPS mechanics and stuff right. And it's like it just looks like something like a kid would do in like a school project. <laughs> You know, like, everything's made of materials and stuff. I just love that. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to me to actually, uh... Oh, I almost did it. <laughs> oh, yeah, another bug I'd like to show you guys is... You may notice the shotgun has, like, a, a bump cycle, right? But if you wanted to, if you were to use scroll wheel, you can actually, um, spam it. Somewhat. To kind of, uh, bypass that pump. <laughs> so you can do that. You have to worry about the uh, pump time pull. Oh, I didn't, I didn't pick it. There we go. Wait, is he dead? Where is he? Oh, he's probably dead. Wait, did I kick him in here? Wait, what? Is he stuck in something? <laughs> Will I kill him if I stand on him? No, actually. Ah! Now he's dead. <laughs> okay. Get some more of them shotgun ammo. I can't get that. No, I want to get that. Health. There we go. 
really just damaging myself like everything. <laughs> Yo. Oh, is it this area where uh, the, we can push yourself into the thing? I've already gone past it. Ooh, nice. I found a secret. <laughs> there we go. More of this creepy stuff. Very creepy. Oh, I was supposed to kick that into him, wasn't I? Here we go, more help. Nice. also definitely thought about that people will be trying to uh, get to places they don't, you know, they shouldn't really be getting to, because I, I remember climbing up here, because I'm trying to look for ways to get out of bounds, and I remember seeing there's a note up here. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, there's some uh, doors you have to go through. Load them up. Like that one there. Yo. <laughs> Yo, nice, nice. Oh, it's here. This is where I was talking about. Okay, let's turn my light on, actually. I haven't turned my flashlight on. Oh, yeah, if you go down here, you can actually kind of push yourself into the wall by just kind of spamming the, uh... kind of crouch in there. In that corner. Come on. Do it. I've done it before. I can get in this corner. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you see, I kind of push myself into that tiny little gap. You can do that. There we go. Yeah, I was trying to actually get even further than this and see if I can actually get out of bounds this way. But I haven't managed to do that. Uh, can you actually put the um, bomb outside? I was wondering if I could kind of maybe use the bomb to do it. Oh, wait, what? Okay, I'm really, uh, close. Like, I didn't do- that didn't actually harm me. But yeah, I was really hoping to get out of bounds by doing this. I don't know if the- if the- if I could? If I keep- I tried spamming it a lot to do it, but it didn't really work. But yeah, you can definitely, uh, see through the wall there. <laughs> playing it. I think there's just one more level up. It's for the healing mechanic. Okay, I'll show the uh, bug at the very end of the video with this, um, because I don't want to play this level all over again. I'd rather do it afterwards, but there is a bug where you can uh, heal yourself after dying. <laughs> oh yeah, also in this vent, you can see there, right there, um, there are areas of the map where you can kind of just look through the wall by just spamming, like, I'm just, like, spamming the uh, shift and the control. There we go. You can see? <laughs> oh, oh, whoa! Okay, I thought I was about to go through then. Holy crap. That would have been amazing if I did. I would love if that actually happened. Not gonna lie. That would be really fun. <laughs> 
<laughs> Me just really eager just to leave the uh, the map. <laughs> oh my god, I'm really like pushing myself. <laughs> oh, I wish it happens. If I can get it to work, I would love to do a second video if it actually did happen. Not gonna lie. <laughs> you can see it. I don't know if it's because the camera's like... I just noticed the camera kind of uh, leans. I wonder if it might be that. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> oh yeah, in this room actually. Um, I got to a point where... Enemies are going to start spawning. Um, like the uh, regular guys will start spawning. Like these guys here. But there was a time they didn't actually spawn and I couldn't actually progress. So there was a bug there. Oh, let's do the thing again. <laughs> do the bomb. Let's do a bomb and then the bomb. Oh, it's sharp in it. <laughs> they're all they're all dead. on the other explosive barrel. <laughs> oh, this is a shotgun shell. Give me that. Where's another one? There it is. Got him. <laughs> oh, reflections, okay. There we go. Just one more level, guys, and we've done it. But yeah, this is the lab. Okay, uh, we'll go for this stuff. a bit more uh, story, I think. Don't know. Here we go, this is the new ability. Reality Hacker, this is a really cool ability, by the way. Um, what we can do now is we can literally create doorways in reality. Like that. <laughs> That's so cool. I love this. I love it so much. Ooh. Going. Here we go. Oop, go for here. But yeah, any other books I've not shown already, I will demonstrate after we've actually beat this. Oh yeah, I remember we're supposed to uh, do something else here. Yes, because you can erase stuff like this with the right uh, mouse button. Not really much good for actually fighting enemies. Um, well, honestly, in fact, you can just kick them and stuff. Maybe, you know, it's, it shouldn't be too powerful. But what you can do with this is you can erase this and then tr draw like that on it. And so now we can actually get through here. <laughs> cool. Put down here. The jail sector. Got to go through here by doing exactly what we just did. Doing that. <laughs> I just love that, honestly. Is 
there any more uh, things I've not found yet? What about over here? Just looking for more secrets. All of a good secret. Dude, that guy's there again. Yeah, I'm definitely... I'd definitely love to play the full version of this, because it is really fun and really, really well made. Right then. What are we doing now? Oh, you have to do uh, the thing again. Good. Is that it? Yes, it is. You can see they're doing experiments in here. These guys are dead. Is that thing over there? <laughs> I also think you maybe get like uh, a weapon, like a hole punch. <laughs> So you can, and you can actually punch holes in the enemies with it. That'll be fun. <laughs> I'll draw it some uh, facial features. There we go. It's liking that. That's a different place. Oh, God. Okay. it does a good face and sometimes it does that face. Okay, I really like that attention to detail as well. It's been green means we've got to activate it. There we go. And here. Oh, I got burned. <laughs> Just heal up a bit. I don't have enough blood yet. Ah, this is the end. I just love that. Uh, Alright. Jump scare time. I just love how uh, it's supposed to be this evil demonic entity, but it's just a stick figure. But yeah. Yeah, this is was a really fun game to test out. I really, really liked it. Before we actually end the video and stuff, I definitely do want to um all right. Yeah, details, I guess. Is that probably about the full version what this manager person is or there we go. But yeah, I've re oh, I don't, don't mean to start it again. No, no, I didn't mean to start it again. I wanted to go on a level select. But before going on a level select, I wanted to... Is the game actually starting? Oh, here we go. I can actually see stuff now. But yeah, I just want to see uh, what um, things I've written for feedback. Other stuff. So I've showcased... Okay, what have I gone over? Fantastic aesthetic, mention that. I love the arts and crafts aesthetic, really nice. How the game's weapons are done, I like the cool pencil, I like how the shotguns are cardboard cut out. I love how it incentivizes the player to use different weapons rather than just focus on using the shotgun. That's why it has low ammo. I like that, it's a good game design. I like how the game is very good at telling you where you need to go, has obviously green lights to show what thing need to be activated. Um, I definitely like uh, what other stuff the game does as well. It, has, it gives you tips as well. It tells you how to do stuff, which is good. The music is great. The sound effects are nice. I definitely love the music because it reminds me a lot of Quake, and I love Quake. Um, cons, I do sometimes think the game does lag quite a bit, and it sometimes will mess with the camera um, when that happens. And I do wish the game had higher difficulty options as well. I really do wish it had more harder modes um, because it's just I managed to play through it without dying once and even this video I didn't die once so it's like you know I just kind of wish it was harder 
there are bugs. Okay, what bugs have I written down here? So, battery can be picked up through walls. Not picked through walls, kicked through walls. Why did I put picked? <laughs> there are areas of map you can see through walls and the pencil clipped into things. Yeah, I've shown that. The healing item. Uh, he Use a healing item when you're dead. Okay, I need to showcase this. I have not done it yet. Meaning we have to go back to the, um, the shotgun level. But yeah, something I was trying to do, if you're wondering what I was talking about, the, the uh, thing could be kind of weird. If I was trying to get up here, <laughs> like, you, um, when you kick um, facing downwards, it has, like, it's weird because it's a really tight space, isn't it? So you go forward, and so you can kind of fling yourself up and get on top of here. So I was really trying to <laughs> do it so I could uh, get higher and higher and higher, but I don't think I'd be able to do it. Yeah, I was trying to do that. <laughs> but let's go to level select and go back to the farm, which is where we get the shotgun. I'm going to show you... Let's just uh, be quick here. Let's not bother about the, uh, the pickups. Let's just get up as fast as possible. Oop. <laughs> He's damaging myself too much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to keep on getting to the point until I get the, um... Oh! Alright, I almost... Uh, that went flying back at me. Yeah, I'm going to try and get to the point where I got the healing item. And then I'm going to try and die and then use it. Because you can actually heal yourself after dying, which is kind of weird. I honestly really love this. <laughs> Oop. Here. That. Here. Get him. Um. But you can also uh, activate the button through the wall. Through the fence, yeah. There we go. Dead. Okay then. I gotta go up here, don't I? We get the shotgun. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I really want to see if I can actually. Um... I just wonder if I'm. I'll be able to do it. Fall down there and. Oh! I really want to try to see if I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's keep on going here, and we'll go until we get the healing item. And then, I'll show you guys the healing bug. And you do still, like, lose, but I just think it's funny how you can actually heal yourself even though you lose. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Oh, I missed that. <laughs> I missed that. Go again. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Up here again. Let's kick that. Nice. Let's do this. Oh, I don't have enough ink. Hey guys, how's it going? I just love how it's just like hitting it on the actual razor. <laughs> and here's it going. Go through here, activate that. Where can we go here? Okay, 
I'm going to show it off in the big fight. Because it was easier to kind of do it there. I don't want to just wait for these guys to just down on my health. Because it's also funnier when it happens in the big fight. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to try and get killed by the door again. Oh, that guy was literally in the floor. Oh, maybe that's what happened. Maybe like one got pushed into the floor or something. That's why it didn't go any further. Like the one I got that like, bug where I was in this area, but it didn't progress until this point. Hugging that up. Okay, let's die now. There we go. <laughs> you can still heal after dying. You can still hear them guys doing their thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was it. <laughs> That's what I wanted to show. But yeah, this has been Goonie124 testing the demo of Paperhead. It's been very, very fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, do another video another time, guys, on another game. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Alright, see you guys. Bye.